evening, an emergency warning is in place in Sydney's southern suburbs tonight after a fierce wind change saw homes come under ember attack from a fast-moving bushfire. It started at Kasula yesterday afternoon and spread quickly towards the southeast, burning through Wattle Grove, Holsworthy and towards Menai. Tonight it's moving northeast towards Alfred's Point with warnings in place for Voyager Point, Pleasure Point, Sandy Point, Illawong and Bangor. Last night, an eerily hot April night helped create the perfect firestorm. The flames surging from all directions. Embers raining down on firefighters aided by rushing winds. A furious Mother Nature threatening lives and homes. These are just some of the 500 firefighters on the front line. The flames perilously close to homes at Menai. A tough decision for residents. Stay and defend or leave. Need to be prepared. If not, this is the perfect time now to leave. It's their last opportunity, you're yes, saying? Yes, absolutely. Hundreds chose to get out while they could. We just grabbed a couple of photos and we're not sure we're going to go so far, but we're going to With flames licking their back fence, Clint and son James stay and fight. How's it holding up there, mate? Yeah, it's fine. It's really good. A lot better than it was. What was it like? Oh, like a wall. Conditions for firefighters couldn't be worse. Hot, blustery, windy conditions. You're talking about ember storms. You're talking about uh, ember showers, ember rainstorms, uh, effectively showering down on firefighters, showering down on, on communities. The blaze started near Kashula train station yesterday afternoon. It's now a crime scene. Investigators suspect it may have been deliberately lit. However it started, it moved quickly, burning through the Holsworthy Army base. Non-essential personnel were evacuated, but for most, it was too late to leave. Parts of the rail network were closed. This train was the last one through. Passengers videoing the flames. It's absolutely a miracle that overnight uh, no one has been reported as having serious injury and hundreds and hundreds of properties have been saved. Tonight, the threat is far from over. Another anxious evening ahead. Peter Fegan, 7 News. Let's see how um, tennis shuts. Yeah, um... Tennis would have to be off too. Stay with me. 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 St